Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to yet another interesting episode. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, due to popular demands, a lot of you have requested for this video, and I have decided to drop it today. It is concerning the current, the latest Canada proof of funds because things have changed. The former one you people were using, they have upgraded it for those who are not aware. Because before now, many of you have reached out to me telling me you want to go and study in Canada. And after talking with you, I will realize that the money you have is not enough to take you through the study route to Canada. Because a lot of you, you have this money. This money is big in your local currencies. This money may, may be in your account or in the account of your sponsor. So when you are looking at it in your local currencies, you feel like, man, this money is enough for me to study in Canada for 10 years. But trust me, it might not even be enough for six months. So after doing the exchange, after converting what you told me you have in your bank account to the Canadian dollar, I will realize that your money is nowhere near what is required for you to study in Canada. So today, I am here to give you the breakdown of the latest proof of funds for study permits or study visa, as you may want to call it. Now, if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, my name is Nosa Komedi, the man with the remedy. Many of my fans call me Nosa from the source. That's because I have been able to bring direct information from the source to you, undiluted. Right here, we don't sugarcoat anything. We say it the way it is. You understand? And if you have not yet subscribed, don't miss out. Every information I give here is free. I am not a travel agent. I am not a visa agent. So, um, I make content on travel, lifestyle, immigration. And if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me on Instagram. If you have any video in mind you want me to make, you can drop it right there in the comment section. So, for those my old subscribers and returning subscribers, respect to every one of you. And don't forget, I'm the king of informative comedy right here in the United States of America. So let's go to this video proper. For a very long time, the cost of living expenses for students, international students in Canada, used to be $10,000 a year. That is amongst other things. We have tuition fees, flight tickets, we're not talking about those. There is this one they call cost of living expense or cost of living expenses. For a very long time, it was pegged at 10,000 Canadian dollars. For years, I think for like over 10 years, that 10K was there. But things have changed. Right now, Canada is facing housing crisis and cost of inflation is high. So they have realized that a lot of students who came to Canada to study, we are now seeking asylum. Many of them left school, went through the asylum route because a lot of them couldn't meet up with the financial obligations of studying in Canada. So they, many of them were stranded. So the government felt like people are becoming a body in their countries or in their country rather, because these people are supposed to come to Canada school, and while they are living there, they are using these monies to boost their economy. But it was not becoming something of the opposite. When people that were expected to come to Canada to spend money to boost the economy are not the ones seeking for help from Canada. So that is why they said from January 1st this year, it was increased from 10,000 to 20,000 Canadian dollars, excluding your tuition. 
So now, let's get this breakdown. Let's say you are a student. You want to go and study in Canada. Let's say your tuition fee is $15,000 a year. Now, I want to give you a thorough breakdown. So this is my first breakdown is for an international student. I will give you a breakdown if you are coming with your family, wife, husband, kids. Now, for a single student, now as it stands with the current rule, if your tuition fee is fifteen thousand Canadian dollars a year, you will need to add that tuition fee in your bank account or in the bank account of your sponsor. Now, from ten thousand Canadian dollars for cost of living expenses for a year in Canada, which has now been increased to twenty thousand, you will now need to have twenty thousand Canadian dollars in your account. Added to the fifteen thousand for tuition, that is thirty-five thousand Canadian dollars. Now you are taking flights. Your flight money will need to be in that account too. Let's say from your the best of the country you are you are in. Let's say you are flying to Canada from Nigeria. Now fifteen thousand for tuition fee for one year. I'm using one year. If it's two years, it will be times two. So I'm using one year. One year, $50,000 Canadian. Cost of living expenses, $20,000. That is $35,000. Flight ticket, let's say flight ticket is $2,000. That is $37,000 for one person. At least, but it will make sense if you have extra. So you can see now that there is no specific proof of funds because your tuition fee may vary from one school to another school. Now we have calculated 37,000 for you. Uh, now let's say you want to add your wife or your husband because from the initial rule that was on ground, which changes have not been made to, from what I understand. If you're adding your wife or your husband, that is your spouse, it will be extra 4,000 Canadian dollars for that your spouse, whether it's your husband or it's your wife. That 4,000 Canadian dollars is assumed to be his living expenses when he or she gets to Canada with you. Extra 4,000, then that your spouse is our flight money. Because remember, in your own, we assume 2,000 Canadian dollars for your flight ticket. Now we are assuming the same 2,000 for your spouse, which is 4,000 plus 2,000. That is 6,000 Canadian dollars. Plus the 37 we calculated for you, the primary person, which is the student. Now you thirty seven thousand plus six thousand for your spouse. How much is that now for husband and wife? Excuse me. That is forty three forty six thousand. Thirty seven no thirty seven plus six for the three thousand dollars for two people. Now if you are adding one child. That child, it is expected that the cost of living for that child will be 3000 That child is good. We are not going to lap that child on the plane. That child is going to have his or her own seat. Another 2000 That is 5000 plus your spouse, 6000 That is 11000 plus the primary applicant, which is the student. 37,000. 37 plus 11. Is that not, is that not a 48? Right? That's 48,000 Canadian dollars. That is for husband, wife, and one child. So, if you are bringing another child, it will be 5,000 for that child, which is 3,000 plus flight money. 
5,000 plus the 48 we calculated, it will be 53,000 Canadian dollars for husband, wife, and two children. Especially if you are schooling outside Quebec. This is how it is calculated. So, in most cases, let me give you this as a bonus because there are many things that I know. I like to share what I know. Like you know, I am not a visa agent. Let me say this again because some people will be sending me a message telling me, ah, no, stop comedy. I need Canada visa. I don't do visa for people. So now, let me give you this as a bonus. For many of you who are feeling like you must go with your family. It is still possible if the proof of funds you have will not carry everybody. It can also make sense for you to go alone first. Yes, it can also make sense for you to go alone first. Because if you are applying for only you without your spouse and kids, trust me, you don't need to provide proof of funds for those people because that proof of funds it's only needed for those who are going but in as much as you will still need to have some money in your account too, because you cannot bring the exact money to apply for visa because they, was, they also want to make sure that you still have money in your bank account to cater for your family who are living behind and one of the many advantages of going first is that those that your family you are living behind, that your spouse and even if it's your spouse or kids, those are your proof of, those are your ties to your own country. In case maybe you don't have property or businesses to show as ties to your country, though that family you are living behind is a strong ties. So you will start advantage to quickly get that visa. So it is, it is my suggestion if you don't have money to gather and carry every member of your household. Because me, I want you guys to be successful. Any tip that I know that will help you, I will not hold back. I will give it to you. Holding it, it is of no benefit to me. It is of more benefit if I give it to you. So I will suggest, like I said, if you know you don't have all these monies I have just made mention of, if you have the one that can carry you as the student, first go. Once you reach there, God can bless you. I know that that 20 hours not to reach anything, but proof of funds can still be available before then. If it's after six months, your husband and your children, or your wife and your children, they can come and meet you. <laughs> But if you cannot leave a small baby behind, if you are a woman, you will have to take that one with you. And carrying that child with you to Canada is an extra body. Because if you really want to be able to meet up with that 20 hours a week work, that journey is good for a single person. If you are married, fine. Maybe you have relatives in Canada you can leave your children for. Because Many of you don't think about this aspect. If you are going there with your children, who are you going to leave your children for? But try to figure this thing out. I just decided to add this to it as a bonus because knowledge is never a waste. So I want you guys to be successful. Please, once again, in the comment section of this video, tell me what you want me to make a video on and I will surely deliver. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that YouTube may recommend this video or can recommend this video to other people that might be interested. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You can do it.